Hey there, this is JP. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about bank appraisals. Why this is important to understand when you're buying property so that you can avoid losing thousands of dollars and potentially getting into a lawsuit. First off, I'd just like to welcome you again. This is our brand new studio. We'll be seeing a lot more of me here in this setting. But first, thank you for tuning in. I hope that I can impart some knowledge to you that'll help you with home purchase. Whether you're in British Columbia, Canada, like myself, or you can use these principles to help you with property purchase in your area. Most of the principles other than legal and tax implications, depending on your area, will pretty much follow through and be able to help you with your real estate purchase. So what is a bank appraisal? Well, a bank appraisal is when the bank that you're trying to get a mortgage from sends out a professional evaluator to find out what price they should put for that property. Now this is going to be different than your purchase price on a contract. This is comparables to the properties that sold next door, down the street, homes that are of comparable nature. The bank's going to send out a professional appraiser so that they can get an idea of how much your home is going to be worth. They aren't just going to say, yeah, your home is worth what you're willing to pay and here's 80% of that as a mortgage. That's not how things work. Because back in the day when our moms and dads used to do their appraisals, the bank sometimes let them choose their own and you know, you give them a fancy bottle of rum or whiskey to bribe them to give you a higher appraisal price on your property. So that kind of went away and the banks now choose an appraisal for you. You don't really have a say on who is being used. The appraisals in Kelowna are ranging between around $400 to $500 for a standard residential home appraisal. Depending on your area, that cost might be a little bit different and also how big the property is, if there's agriculture land or commercial aspects to it. But a standard residential home, which is what we're talking about, is going to cost you around $400. Now you don't pay that out of your pocket right away. The bank is going to hit you with that in your statement of adjustments with your lawyers when you're going through the completion documents. You're going to see a nice little add-on of about $400 for the bank appraisal when you get to that point. So how an appraisal company figures out the pricing is that they'll have access to the recent solds in the neighborhoods that are around the property that you're looking for. A lot of times they'll call a real estate professional like myself and ask, was furniture included in a recent sale? Was GST included in a recent sale? Now, was there any upgrades to that home within the last like 60 days? To give them a better idea of what the comparables are around the subject property that you're looking to buy. That way, they have a little bit more information so that they can give a more accurate price estimate. If there are things such as furniture included in a comparable sale, they'll take that into consideration regarding the house price that someone may have inflated the home value based on including furniture that normally wouldn't be included in a sale. So they'll give a little bit less of a value to your home that you're looking to purchase for that example. So in your typical market, you're gonna have a subject of financing if you need a bank loan. This is gonna have a, an appraisal that's part of that package, and that usually gets done before you remove your subjects for financing, before you get your approvals. Well, in Kelowna, at least in 2021, we've been seeing such a fast-paced market that even if someone needs bank approval for, for their mortgage, normally what, they're, what we're seeing is unconditional or subject-free offers. And essentially, the buyer would feel comfortable enough with their financing situation that even though they need a mortgage, they feel that they're okay to make up the difference. And so the appraisal still happens, but that's after subjects were removed or there weren't any subjects to begin with. And so what can sometimes happen is that the value of the appraisal can come in lower than the purchase offer price that you have on your contract. Now for someone who has a lot of money in the bank, this isn't a problem because they can make up the difference. The issue that you want to avoid is if you're going to be tight for money, you don't want to be in that situation where you've made an unconditional offer, but you still need bank financing and the appraisal comes in lower. You're going to be stuck having to try and come up with the difference at completion. And if you can't complete because you don't have the money, then one, you could lose your deposit or two, on top of that, the seller could potentially sue you for damages if they can't sell the property for at least what you were, had agreed to purchase it for. In most cases, the bank is only going to be offering you funding up to 80% of the home's purchase price or value of the appraisal. 
So let's say, for example, the home is worth $1 million and you've offered $1 million, but the bank's appraiser goes in and they value that house at $960,000 and you had to have a down payment of 20% on your purchase price. So let's say 20% on $1 million. That's $200,000. You have that money ready to go on the side, ready for your down payment. But the appraisal comes in low. It doesn't come at $1 million. It comes in at $960,000. So the bank still requires you to have 20% down, but the amount that they're only lending you is on the 960, 80% of that. So what you need to do is make sure you have your 20% of the 1 million plus the difference. So now you need actually $240,000 because you've got to make up that difference. So it, let's say, for example, you had a subject of financing in your offer, the appraisal came in lower and you don't have the money to make up the difference. You kill the deal. No problem, you walk away, you haven't lost anything, the seller can't sue you. The process is just the bank trying to verify that the home is worth what you're paying for. In a way, it's helping to protect you, but it's really to help protect the bank because they don't want to over lend and then be stuck foreclosing on a home that's not worth the money. Because if that happens, they want to get their money back. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, this is not to be used as professional advice. Ask your local real estate professional, accountant, and lawyer anytime you want to make a real estate purchase in your area. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Say bye! Bye! <laughs> Bloopers!